Hi, I'm Katie Hacker, your host. The addition of color is a way of expressing your style all by itself. Different colors evoke different feelings, but the use of bright and ombre color palettes defines a particular type of style. Bold colors are very basic and a cinch to pull off when designing. They also say, look at me, and evoke a playful attitude. Take a look at the necklace I'm wearing. It's hard to believe it started out of, as a t-shirt, but I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really quick. So it's a great way to upcycle too, and you can add some color to your wardrobe. So what you'll do is start out with any old t-shirt. You can choose your favorite color or just work your way through those t-shirts that no longer fit or you're not wearing them. You're gonna use scissors. What I've done is just folded it in half from side to side. So I'll just cut and you could measure, but I find that it's just as easy and quick to eyeball. And I'm just snipping right across with the scissors. So I cut through both my layers of fabric and the seam. Now you'll also go ahead and cut off the bottom seam. You can also use a rotary cutter and you can get some different effects on this type of scarf necklace by um, determining what the widths are on your t-shirt strings that you're making. So I just use about an inch and you could use your mat as a guide. You can also use a rotary cutter. You have to give it a little more pressure to get all the way through both layers of fabric, but you want to be sure that you don't cut through the side seam because we're going to need those to all be attached at the end. So I'll just roll my way back out. And you have your first strip and then you'll cut your way across the entire length of the body of the shirt. And what you come up with is a tube that looks kind of like this. So it's all of your strips, but they're connected at the side seam. And what I've done here is just taken a piece of extra shirt from the top of the shirt, just a little string, and tied it around the side seam and tied it in a knot. And of course, this was a striped shirt, so you're going to get some more variegated color. And I also cut the strips a little bit smaller, so when they rolled up, you can see that it has a little bit more of a fray. Now, what you do is take these strings and start pulling them, and that makes the fabric roll up, and that's how you get your kind of stringy look on the shirt. And you can also pull it like this, and when you're ready to wear it then, you double it around your neck. So if you take a look at this one that's on the stand, what I did here is I added some beads because you know I just can't leave it knotted like that. I have to add some beads to this thing. So what I did is took some seed beads, put them in my bead spinning tool, and then bent the wire so that it has a little bit of a hook in the end. And this is 22 gauge. And even though this is really meant for use with thread, you can use it to load the beads onto the wire. So you see they're just going to pop right up there. And what I would do for this, this particular technique is bead this whole entire wire and then about this long because then you're going to coil it around the seam on the necklace. Now if you take one more look at this necklace here, you can see I also created some short pieces that I coiled around the t-shirt strings and I just distribute those evenly spaced across the necklace. So, and we call this a necklace, it's really also an infinity scarf because it does go all the way around your neck. So maybe scarf necklace would be a better word. But again, it is a great way to add color and it's a really fun way to recycle your old shirts too.